Hello everyone, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing the English release of the fifth Digimon card game booster set. So that is Battle of Omni. So the Japanese version being Battle of Omega, but because Omegamon is Omnimon in the English releases, it's Battle of Omni. Which is, is kind of weird, because we've got like the uh, Omega symbol there, but it's Omni. But anyway, so here's the box, and I guess we'll just get straight into it. Again, apologies for the cuts on my hand. They're from my uh, now 11 week old little puppy dog. So here is our box topper. It is Arata from the Digimon Cyber Sleuth game. So that's pretty cool. And I'll put him to the side. Again, I, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the, uh, the promo look that the English release seems to have. They don't seem as... Uh, as nice as the the foils in the Japanese version. I don't know why they maybe they're made out of a different material or they use a different gloss. But I'm just it they just seem less stunning in the English release. It's it's weird. But anyway, oh well. The first thing I notice about these is the booster packs are a little bit bigger. Uh, you may remember that I always make a point that because I do the uh, the scissors way of opening, which means I just cut. I noticed that the English releases all have uh, not much space between uh, the top of the booster pack and the card, but these ones actually have like a good centimetre or so, probably more than a centimetre, maybe a centimetre and a half there, and usually it's like less than half a centimetre, I'd say. So that, that's something that's I've noticed, so let's, uh, let's go around opening them. Also, something else I've noticed is that every single booster pack in this box appears to all have the same design. In the other releases of the English versions, they've all, like, we've had, like, four different booster pack designs. So that, that's, uh, that's something that's interesting that they've changed with this set. I wonder why they changed that. And let's see how quickly I can run out of room. Usually I do run out of room pretty quickly because I am unorganized. It's interesting I've got Star Mons with an S. I've always seen that written as Starmons with a Z, so Starmons, but uh, I guess that's fine. Monochromon hanging out in his shop from Digimon World 1. And I know I mention this in every unboxing video for the card game, but I absolutely adore how we're just referencing different parts of the franchise for the... Uh, for the in the card game, like we've got references to the, to the re references. There's no T in that word. References to video games. References to the anime. References to the virtual pets. It's a nice uh, combination of referencing across the uh, the franchise. It's not just you know. It's not just the card games. It's not just the anime. And I yeah, I know I mention that in every single card game video, but it's just something I really appreciate about the. Digimon card game. Yay, Palmon! I like Palmon. That may that may surprise you. Also, the, the cards in general just feel different with the the Japanese release to the English release. I don't know why. It just does. That is a cute Coromon eating his meat. Hey, it's Omnimon Zort. So. Looking pretty cool there. I can't remember what cards I was missing when I was unboxing the the Japanese version. I think I unboxed three of this of the Battle of Omega. I can't remember. I think I might be missing out on a few cards. I th oh, I think it might have just been might have just been Alter S, but I can't remember if I bought that as a single later on. I will have to check. I know that I've got everything from the sixth booster set. And I think from the fourth one I'm just missing Lucemon for memory. I know I'm just missing one or two from most of them, maybe just one. See Alcamon being an adorable clam cat. That's what my fiance calls uh See Alcamon. We were running the uh the pendulums together once. Or maybe twice, and he was like, I want this one because it is a cat clam. And and that's uh 
And that's that, that's who Siakamon is forever in my brain now. Cat Clam. Also, I feel like the release is definitely caught up because for the English as opposed to the Japanese one, because we've only just had the sixth one released two months ago, and the seventh one's coming out uh, this month, so in a two weeks, I think. But so we're only, we're only really like a few, like two, like two sets behind. So that's not. I have already run out of space and messed up my piles. Oh no. And I just realized that I don't think that's a baby, and I put it on a non I put it on a baby pile. Just because it was small and cute. And I've already messed up my piles. Oh good, I'm glad that's Piximon and not uh Piccolo uh Picklemon. On the basis that after uh, and I know I, I mentioned this also in every video, but the fact that they kept Death Parade Blaster rather than Desperado Blaster makes me think that anything's possible. Including, uh, in including just having weird names, like, uh, like in the Detector, how Cherubimon was called Kirpimon. That's always weird to me. And we have Demon, who was Demon, but for some reason at some point became Creepymon. I mean, I don't know why, but he did. Oh well. Uh, another uh, reference to the video games, how Merrimon is the chef, which is pretty cool. Another Palmon, good to see, love Palmon. Zig Greymon, that's, that's, an, that's an interesting take, I'll, I'll give it that. Kiwimon, Sora and Joe, oh, that's a Tamer card, and Tactimon, looking cool. Where's my purple pile? There's my purple pile. But yeah, I can't really remember what's in the set except for obviously lots of Omega Mon. I know that the set that's coming out in a few weeks, which I've got two boxes coming for, was a little harder to get this time, so I only went with two. Uh, is has got um the the characters from season four, so that's Frontier as the Tamer cards. Unless I'm wrong there, I haven't seen as much. For the upcoming set as I have for the previous sets. Like I'm not sure if I've just, I, it's probably because I've been busy looking after a baby puppy, which that they take up so much work. Like I feel like this puppy is taking up a lot more work than my current, my existing dog when he was a puppy and that's probably because, and actually it's definitely because, we've actually decided to um to train this dog like really well. We're crate training her we are teaching her lots of commands in a very special way. We're clicker training her. And, uh, yeah, she's going to be a show dog. So that's something new. So that is definitely why she's taking up a lot more time than Langley did. But not to say that Langley is not trained. He's trained sufficiently. He knows, he knows lots of words. He's, he is a, a weirdly smart dog. But he's not like... He's not trained in the way that, like, he knows lots of commands. Hey, Blackwall Greymon! Like, he, he knows lots of words, but he doesn't, uh, know commands. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Like, he'll, he'll, if I say, hey, do you want to go for a walk? He'll sort of wag his tail, and I say, okay, go get your lead, and he'll get his lead. But, like, that's not something I really taught him. He just kind of, uh, learnt that on his own. But anyway, so we've been training this, this new dog, and she's pretty cute. I, I love her but a lot of work and she's also a standard schnauzer and they are called the dog with the human brain so we kind of have to if we want her to do something we kind of have to reason with her about it like she sort of looks at us like okay but why would I do that and we kind of have to show her why she do that because she gets treats is usually the answer but yeah she's going to be a show dog and uh which means we also have to keep her intact, so that's also something that's uh, new because Langley got desexed. Like, well, we picked him up when he was ten weeks old uh, from the the RSPCA, and they desex them as soon as they find them. So he was very young when he got desexed, but Freya is uh, going to remain intact. 
So that's something I'm going to have to deal with. Because that's what the uh, the the laws of the the show dogs are apparently. Hey, Metal Gurumon. Interestingly, it's just Metal Gurumon. It's not Metal Gurumon Black. It's not Black Metal Gurumon. It's not Metal Gurumon Shadow or Shadow Metal Gurumon. It's just Metal Gurumon. And that's really nice art and appears to be fighting just regular War Greymon. So that's kind of cool. I like that card. I don't remember that card from the the Japanese set of Battle of Omega obviously was there but uh, I guess that that was a long time ago I think I unboxed Battle of Omega just before I moved to this house and that whole like time period is a blur to me because I was getting my car back after my car accident I was moving jobs from my first ever job to a different job I was buying a house and then I moved into the house so I don't remember a lot from that time because it was kind of a little bit of a whirlwind. And even though it was like only four months ago, it feels like it was just like five years ago because it was just, it was just, it was such a quick amount of time for so many things to change. And now look at us. We, we have a brand new puppy dog. And of course we still, we still love Langley. We love Langley so much. He is tolerating the puppy. He played with her today. He plays with her for a few minutes and then he kind of just decides to go somewhere where she can't go, which is like upstairs or at the moment she can't jump on the couch because she's too small, uh, but uh, she's growing very quickly. She's going to be bigger than him very quickly, uh, which I don't know how he's going to handle. Standard schnauzers get, up, get to be about... 20 kilograms full grown. Oh, I think the males might get to 26. And Langley is about 6 kilograms. And Freya at the moment is about 5 kilograms. So, yeah, he, she is going to be uh, bigger than him very, very quickly, which is uh, it's exciting. But I don't know if he's ready for that because he thinks he is the biggest dog in the world. Because I tell him it every day. I tell him, say, Langley, you are the biggest dog in the world. And he wags his tail because he knows what that means. Lord Nightmon. Wait a minute. That's not that Digimon's English name. Huh. So, Lord Nightmon or Rodo Nightmon. Rodo means, like, as in the, the shade of pink, I believe. Is called Crusadermon in the English version. But they have changed her to be called Lord Nightmon, which I guess is she's now maybe not a woman anymore because in the Japanese version, uh, Lord Nightmon or Lord of Nightmon was a man uh, and the English dub changed her to be a woman. And when she was just called Crusadermon, which I kind of don't mind this change because, yes, it is nice to have, like, you know, the, the flamboyant male character having an extra female in the cars is actually kind of nice. Because there aren't any uh, many female characters, and then we have, you know, we have Zoe who is a girl, and then we have Crusademon who is this like she's like the uh, the the woman character who like the uh, Jessie from Pokemon is, and I'm blanking. There, there is a name for it, but they are kind of like they're older and kind of like a little bit self-centered in a way I don't know it's the best way to describe it but it was a huge like anime trope in the late 90s and early 2000s and I guess I think it's like I'm, I'm, I know it's it's not like the the Ojo Summer or the Queen uh trope it's it's got a different name but it was in Nadia and the Great Blue or whatever that anime was called and it's, it was just a thing but uh yeah so I, I don't mind it because that cast needed another woman on in the uh, in the show. Yeah, so it's interesting that we're still calling we're st we're calling her Lord Nightmon now instead of Crusadermon, which is a weird change because again this box is called Battle of Omni. They could have just changed it to Omega. So it's weird what they're keeping the names <laughs> what what names they're keeping and what names they're they are changing. Um, why do we have Creepymon? Also, and I'm 
fairly soon. I've mentioned this in other videos before, but there's also the case of in the virtual pets when there would, was, but just before the anime, Devimon in English was briefly called Darkmon. And then when the anime came out, they kept him to be Devimon, so which, which is nice. But in lots of guides that were released in English and lots of like material that was released officially in English, we had Devimon be Darkmon for like a very, very short amount of time. And it's just an interesting bit of trivia that I have because that's what he was called for me for a long time. Actually, was one of the few ones that I actually knew his actual well, actual name because it's not actually Darkmon. But oh uh, yeah, that's an interesting bit of uh, trivia which I've probably mentioned about 50 times already on various videos and podcasts and anything, whenever I open my mouth about it I guess, which is probably a lot. Now I'm just looking at the names like, is there anything else that would have changed? And then we had Death Parade Blaster which I will never get over. Absolute blast. I hope this video is an absolute blast. And there's Zwart Defeat, who is one of the secrets for this set. So that's exciting. But oh uh, yes, yeah, so this box came out on Friday. It had the same release day as the English release of the DMXs, which I did an unboxing and startup video of the other day. And uh, I was I was honestly surprised that this got released and it wasn't delayed by EB Games. Same with the DMX that I mentioned that in the DMX video. But uh, since we entered lockdown like the night before this was released, I was fairly convinced that uh, I would not be getting either of these. But I got them, and I'm and I'm really pleased about that. Obviously, because I like having stuff. And then there's just regular Omnimon. And we still have so many booster packs left. We still have at least like maybe just under a quarter of the box. I should hurry up because it is getting warm in this room, which is surprising because it's uh, it's cold. It's winter, but for some reason it has decided to get really warm in here. It's probably because I have my work computer and my home computer on. Mind you, my work computer is a laptop. But uh, I'm sure that adds a little bit of heat. <laughs> Royal Nuts. It's funny. I like Delimon. I know I mention that whenever Delimon is relevant, but you know, I like I like him. And that is, uh, I guess, I guess the other Omnimon I opened was a an alternate art one because we have. Uh, the, let's see. Yep, the one's an alternate art. So this one is alt art Omnimon, and this is just regular Omnimon. Having said that, I'm fairly certain I actually opened this this one in the Battle of Omega box. So, and I don't did I'm not sure if I ever opened that one. So maybe I just don't have a regular Omega Mon and just have the alt art one. I will have to look at my boosters boosters uh, binders. There we are. It is late. It is a late ish at night, and I'm slowly unable to put words together. Unless, of course, they're about my dogs, which I have a lot of words that I can put out about them. Such as, they're good. Kill them on. And there's Black or Greymon again. Ultras mode. What else do I have to say? See, I kind of just, uh, I kind of just blab during these videos because I'm, I'm not gonna name every single card because, while I, I mean, I do do that, I would just be doing that a lot because sometimes I pull many cards of the same. Then there's Deramon, who I'm happy to see. I remembered I opened lots of him in the Japanese release, but I think this is only the first time I've opened his Japanese one, not Japanese, English one. What is this language? This language, language is English. Yeah, I'm very glad they went with Piximon and not uh, Picklemon, which he's been at, written as a few times. And Gigimon, and I'm fairly certain that would be a Digimon world reference. I've got his house in the background, which is the house, which is kind of like a can, which is from uh, the the Digimon world game. And Hexblamon. 
maybe one day the game that Hex Blarmon will be is from and that Evolution Chain will come out in English. Actually, I think there was news about that recently, or a leak or something, but it's not called Digimon. I forgot what it's called completely. I've blanked, but it is the game that's been released in China for a few years. And apparently there was like a leak the other day that's coming out in English, which is cool because, yeah, it's like New Century. That's the name, but I can't remember what the uh, supposed English name is. Where have my piles gone? I was looking at this Mechanorimon one and I'm like, I think this might be where we saw Mechanorimon a lot in Digimon Adventure, like in the 1999 show, where we have a bunch of Mechanorimon breaking into where the Chosen Children's crest tags and Digivices are held, as well as the baby Digimon and the eggs, but I'm not 100%. And we, oh, last, oh no, last three boosters. And I cut them off screen. I have still never cut a card. I know that I was, when I started to do these uh, unboxing videos, everyone said, you will definitely cut a card. And I still haven't. Be proud of me. And that's also a reference to Digimon World, which is great. <laughs> Royal Nuts. Re Revive from the Darkness is a weird wording. That doesn't... There's something about it that doesn't doesn't feel right. I don't know. Terrymon Assistant. Very cute. So that means we got one secret and one alt heart. So that was a pretty good box. I think, unless, you, unless you're guaranteed to have one secret and an alt heart. In that case, it's not a good box, it's just a box. Commandramon, who I love. Mori Shelmon, also who I love. Starmons, still feel like there should be a Z there instead of an S. But what are you going to do? Gladimon, who should... That, that, Gladimon just reminds me of an Atmon. Anyway, where was I? More Greymon. And Armageddon. I like Armageddon. Because I really like the Revenge of Diaboromon movie and I really like our war game. So sue me. I also it's a funny name. It's it's not Armageddon, it's Armageddon. It makes me happy. Alright, last booster. It's probably gonna be an average one because we've opened up a lot of nice cards. So yes, we have more. Is Diaboromon in the set? Because I don't think we opened him. Maybe it's just, uh, hey, another Deramon. Okay, this is the best booster pack because it's got Deramon in it. Jokemon. But uh, yeah, I don't, is, I don't think Diaboromon's in the set. I think it's just Armageddon. Blucomon and Ty and Matt. So yep, the last one was only good because it had Deramon. But other than that, nah. But overall, pretty exciting box. Now I just realised, oh, I'm going to have to sort this, aren't I? That can be future my problem. Anyway, so thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Did you get any of these boxes? Did you open anything cool? Let me know in the comments, and I will see you on the next video. Bye!